On the first day of the National Transportation Safety Board, or NTSB, hearings related to the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9 door plug blowout, Boeing's representatives said that the company would redesign the door plug to prevent another occurrence from ever taking place. Elizabeth Lund, the senior vice president of quality of Boeing commercial airplanes, said during the hearing that her company was designing changes to the mid-exit door plug, changes which the plane maker aimed to introduce soon. In addition to changes at the design and production stage, Boeing will retrofit the redesigned door plugs to the current in-service fleet of 737 MAX 9 aircraft. It's worth mentioning, however, that not every 737 MAX 9 has a door plug, as is the case for airlines that have chosen a denser cabin configuration. These carriers must equip their aircraft with emergency exits instead of the door plug to conform with evacuation requirements. Nevertheless, Lund detailed that Boeing's engineers have been working on design changes that would allow the door plug to not be closed if there was any issue before being firmly secured. The Boeing executive also acknowledged the problems that Boeing has faced with its safety and quality management, sharing that the current state of the company was concerning and that the manufacturer was working hard to rectify those issues. During the hearing, Jennifer Homendy, the chair of the NTSB, continued to criticize Boeing's safety culture, noting that the company had a long way to go to fix the issues that have once again put the spotlight on the aircraft manufacturer. Following the Alaska Airlines incident, Boeing made promises to introduce changes to its processes to improve the safety and quality of its aircraft, especially the 737. During the hearings, company executives and contractors detailed that 737 fuselages had been arriving from Spirit Aerosystems in Kansas to its Renton, Washington assembly line with multiple defects. Lund remarked that the defects had worsened just around the time of the mid-air door plug blowout. On January 15th, Stan Deal, the now-retired president and chief executive officer of Boeing Commercial, introduced immediate safety and quality improvement actions additional quality inspections, team sessions on quality, a company review of Spirit Aerosystems' work, airline oversight inspections, and an independent party audit of its quality management system to improve its processes. Boeing's moves to improve the quality of its products culminated in the acquisition of Spirit Aerosystems for $8.3 billion, which includes the supplier's debt. The transaction should be finalized by mid-2025. While there is a lot more news coming from these NTSB hearings, what do you think of Boeing's changes thus far? Is it restoring your trust in the company? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.